Germany's health minister has warned that a fourth wave of coronavirus cases is hitting the country with full force, calling it a massive pandemic of the unvaccinated. While well, he says that tighter measures are needed for those who refuse to get the shots. And it seems that's prompting some people to reconsider. It's not the latest fashion that's causing long lines at this shopping mall in central Berlin. But the chance to get a jab without an appointment. With COVID-19 infection rates skyrocketing all over the country and many vaccination centers already closed, the number of people dropping by here is on the rise. I'm doing this because of my grandparents. I want to be able to see them. When the pandemic was really bad, I didn't see them for more than a year. And I want to be able to do everything again. I was recently on the road with my friends and we wanted to eat at a fast food restaurant. But I was kicked out because I am not fully vaccinated and only had done a rapid test. I don't want to have to think about it anymore. When going to a restaurant or a club, I can then just prove I'm vaccinated and go in easily. And of course it's important to protect the elderly. Solidarity is important too. Not everyone sees it that way. More than 16 million Germans have not been vaccinated. At the same time, experts are recommending speedy booster shots for people who were vaccinated more than six months ago. But who exactly should get them? Doctors say groups that are especially vulnerable or exposed to the virus, such as over 70s and medical staff and only them. We are able to tell from analyzing the data we have that from that age on, the risk of serious illness increases in case of an infection. And we believe it makes sense to first vaccinate the people who need it most. Caretaker Health Minister Jens Spahn, however, insists with a fourth wave in full swing, everybody should be able to get a third jab. I don't see why people who have been vaccinated more than six months ago and want a third shot now because they need a lot of people, for example, should not be able to get one from their doctor. At the current vaccination rate, however, it would take more than a year to offer a third jab to everyone. So to avoid new restrictions, it seems, Germany's vaccination campaign itself needs a booster. Johannes Wagner is a member of the German parliament for the Green Party. Very warm welcome to DW News. Um, it is quite a situation that Germany finds itself in right now. Uh, numbers are higher this time round than last year. Um, is it time for mandatory vaccinations? Good afternoon. Well, yes, the pandemic isn't over. Um, we have to be careful. Still, we are in a different situation than one year ago, and it's not necessary to implement general mandatory vaccinations right now. If you look at special professions um, who work with people um, in, in hospitals, medical staff, for example, um, then we should look at these professions especially, also people who work um, in kindergartens uh, or with kids who are not vaccinated yet, then we have to look about it, but not generally for the whole population. All right, so you would be open for those specific professions to be mandated to get a vaccine? We have to look if the numbers of people working in those jobs um, who are fully vaccinated is not um, increasing fast enough. We have to think about um, for those groups. I mean, we have for measles, for example, or hepatitis C, we have mandatory vaccinations for certain professions, not for the whole prof uh, population. And we have to think about it at least and see how we can, with the current measures, increase the numbers um, as fast as possible. And, and if this does, doesn't work, we have to think about it. Yes. All right. So do you think that this will be part of the plans of the Greens, of which you are a member and who are currently obviously in coalition talks? Will that be part of uh, their plan to fight the pandemic? We are talking about it and then we will see um, how the, the ratio of people who are fully vaccinated is um, uh, developing, but we are talking about it. Now, uh, as you know, uh, Germany and, and uh, um, I think a lot of uh, leaders here have uh, ruled out another lockdown. Uh, do you think that might change? I don't think we need a general lockdown anymore. Um, our amendment of the uh, Infection Protection Act um, does still allow 
effective measures like social distancing, wearing a face mask and um, hygiene concepts, but we don't need a general lockdown because we are in a different situation than one year ago. We have more than two thirds of the population vaccinated, so I don't think we will see any general lockdown anymore. In the meantime, of course, the situation in, in hospitals in Germany is, is really dramatic and mm -hmm. overworked uh, health care uh, personnel are, are well raising the alarm. Some of them want to go on strike. What, what would the Green Party and this new incoming government propose to help their situation and their working conditions? I mean, we have to make clear that the pandemic isn't over and we have to be still very, very careful. I can speak for the pediatric, pediatric stations. I, am, um, I was a doctor uh, working in a, in a in pediatrician and we have a very, very hard situation right now, not only because of COVID, also because of, of other uh, viruses um, of the respiratory um, uh, tract. Um, but of course, every corona case is um, increasing the, the situation, which is very difficult for those people. And we have to be support them by getting vaccinated and be careful to not infect us. Right. Uh, Johannes uh, Wagner is member of the Green Par of the German Parliament, rather for the Green Party. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us again. Thank you. Thank you.